All right, folks, <clears throat> it's it. It is the final countdown here at the end of this godforsaken season. Um, we've got our matchups for the only things of consequence. Um, in the championship, we've got the rookie Dick Mixon's Puncher Gate against Brad, the ambassador of Quan. And in your Sacco last place, whatever the fuck you guys want to call it, um, we've got... Aaron and his name, Two Girls, One Cup, against Adam and the Creaking Heaters. Uh, let's see how we got here first. Let's go to last week. Uh, I obliterated the Brolo by 80 points, 246 to 166, assuring myself and my shitbag team that I will not have a sign in my yard. Yes, those are the goals I set. Yes, I should probably be embarrassed, but alas... I will not have a sign in my yard. Um, so we quickly look through this past week. Big games from Devontae Adams, George Kittle, and the Vikings D are what led me to victory. A.A. Ron left Anthony Miller, recent addition, on his bench. Not that it would have necessarily mattered. Let's go look at the full score. Maybe. Anyways, 80 points overall. Big week for me. No more no more Sacco worries. In our other bottom feeding matchup, we've got the Laundry Sammy's Blowies blowing out the Creaking Heaters 283 to 234. Cat finally wakes up. I don't know if that was some uh, coaching beyond the uh the uh, screen there, i.e. her husband, who didn't want to sign in their lovely, was that a multi-million dollar neighborhood up there? I don't know, whatever. Uh, Kat getting big games from Julio, Tyreek Hill, and DJ Moore, and the Bills D. Adam, just bad all, all over. The fact that he scored 100 points is actually pretty, uh, pretty respectable there. Um, in the week prior, a much, much closer matchup in which Adam actually had the lead. I'm sorry, he was down by one. Uh, so anyways, Cat, if this is it, it's been fun, it's been real, uh, you at least won't finish last. Uh, which takes us to our championship matchups. Let's figure out how we got here. Let's go first to the Rook. Bobby, the Dick Mixons, with Dick Mixon carrying the freight. Bobby got big game from Joe Mixon, 27 points. Um, big game, Travis Kelsey, Amari Cooper, um, scored 141 overall. And sorry, that was week 14. Um, Nick was down by 27 come out of that, as we talked about last week. This week. It was the Lamar Jackson show on Thursday night as he had, what, five touchdowns? Pull it up here. Yeah, 36 points for him, 39, almost a 40-burger from Kenyon Drake, 19 points from the Pats. So he scored 181 this week, 10 points off the league record. And this era of offenses, his record seemed to fall just daily. Uh, Nick's only troubles at see, or I shouldn't say troubles. He was troubled from the start that Lamar Jackson played on Thursday. Uh, the only difference he really looks like he could have done was play Tony Pollard and it wouldn't have made a difference. Uh, Bobby running away with it. Uh, we got the belt ready to be fought over. We got the trophy. Um, whoever wins between you and Brad, come and get it. Which takes us, as I just teased, to the retarded chub, as it's been renamed, should be called the Flaccid. Uh, Lake Flaccid is where Josh is living now. Um, against the Ambassador of Quan, after rip roaring through the league at eleven and two, Josh finds himself on the losing end. And when it counts, um, he started Eli Manning this week. I I don't know. Really didn't have a quarterback to speak of. Left Miles Sanders on the bench. What did 
vile sin. What kind of paint have you been huffing? That's what, two weeks in a row? Let's go back to the let's go back to week 14 when this still looked like a matchup. Uh Brad ended up winning by 20 almost 27 points. The Quan. You've got the Rook, brand new to the league, against the guy who bathes and smeared off ice and white claw. Yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna forget that. Um coming out of last week, Josh was only down three points. In which Sanders scored 16 for him, still left him out. I mean, I get it. You got, you know, Nick Chubb, Melvin Gordon, rolling Cooper Cup in the flex, but you still left him on the bench. Really came, I mean, I is that 35 points? Let's see if we can do some quick math here. Obviously, you want it. It's significant. But you would have swapped him out for, well, I guess you could have swapped him out for Melvin Gordon, so 28 points. Uh, 20, that would have been enough. You swap Miles Sanders for Melvin Gordon and the Chubbs in the ship. Alas, no more. So let's break down this matchup here real quick. Uh, we've got two weeks of people going after it. Um, by all indications in the NFL, there's a lot of teams who have stuff to play for. I think anybody's going to pack it in this week. That could obviously change after uh, Sunday's results. Uh, but as we look ahead... Go to the scoreboard here. Once again, we've got the rookie, Bobby, who had somehow, he, he was, in, believe it or not, Bobby was in this league years ago when we first started, when I was dropping Randy Moss week one, those years ago. And he left, and we named it what we named it, which uh, would take offense, whatever the hell it is. Um, and now he's back. He's back in the league for the first time. Didn't know how much football knowledge he really had. But alas, here we are. Let's find this. And then we've got Brad. Who, like I said, bathes and smeared off ice and white claw just so he can have Saquon Barkley. We'll see. We'll see. If Saquon carries him to the ship, I don't know how we can uh we can ignore that. Um so let's take a look at the matchup here. Bobby, who got Lamar Jackson, by the way. Lamar Jackson. In like the 14th round there. Alright, you guys see that? The 14th fucking round is when he took Lamar Jackson. And it's and it's 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 eerily similar to how I won my my championship last year with Patty Mahomes going late. Um but alas Bobby's got a much better team than than I do this year. So it, it doesn't really matter. Um so let's let's break this down quickly. Uh we will get into a more depth later. Um, so Bobby with Lamar Jackson, Joe Mixon, uh, he's got Kenyon Drake thrown up there right now, uh, who's right the hot hand there in Arizona. Mari Cooper, Tyler Boyd, Kelsey, uh, the Fournette we don't talk about, but we do talk about. Um, Pat's D. So just a, a loaded, loaded squad. You feel like he, he has the potential to really just steamroll the quad. The Quan has Deshaun Watson above Drew Brees. He's got both, so he's got options. You know, if the Saints clinch something, he can at least go back to Watson. That's that's important to, to remember. Because if the Ravens clinch something, they're not going to risk Lamar getting hurt. And Bobby is currently, does he even have any quarterbacks anymore? He's got RG3, so he's at least prepared in that aspect. Uh, Saquon Barkley, Marlon Mack, Col Colts are bad. Uh, Thielen, if he could be healthy, Chark, who's had a great year, Waller, who's been a top tight end, um, and then you get some guys who are name brand important, Keenan Allen, um, right now he's got the Steelers D playing the Jets this week, um, so let's, let's look at, let's look at the depth now, Brad still has two additional tight ends, Hunter Henry and David Njoku, hey, you could play one of those guys in a flex if you need it, um, both those teams aren't going anywhere, they're, they're guaranteed to play. Uh, Tevin Coleman on his bench, uh, the aforementioned Drew Brees, uh, and T.Y. Hilton. So, you know, the depth maybe isn't there compared to to what Bobby's got. He still has um, John Brown, who's been big for him, Michael Gallup, the Ravens D, um, and like we said, RG3, who, you know, I guess if, if the Ravens go into shutdown mode, we got to buy locked up, you may, you know, you may play him over Lamar. He won't be Lamar, but... You know, who knows what that offense would look like in a Week 17 matchup. Um, 
So right now I'm not seeing yeah. So the predictions I'm seeing right now, Brad at 130, Bobby at 139. So the the two seed here versus the four seed for your championship. Um, and we will we will get to this more uh, later on, especially after this first week of matchups to see who will and won't continue to play. Um, we will quickly look at the last place game, which is Aaron in Two Girls, One Cup and Adam the Creek and Heaters. Um, I, I don't know what to say about either of these teams. Uh, I really don't. Aaron has struggled all year despite having Patrick Mahomes, Todd Gurley, Stephon Diggs, Adam who, who kind of has a good team, but maybe he's been dealt a bad hand. Aaron Rodgers, Kareem Hunt, DeAndre Hopkins, Zach Ertz and his lineup, Metcalf, um, maybe just some bad choices made by both throughout the year here. Um, but they are playing for the shit-sipping title. All right, we've rambled on here long enough. Those are your matchups. Uh, the Rook versus the Cheater um, for, for the trophy, for the belt, and the fact that Lamar Jackson was taken in the 14th round. 